Hey, what's up guys, Ara here, and welcome back to the last question mark challenge here today for the 2019 Russian Grand Prix. Today, we take on this challenge with Lewis Hamilton in his Mercedes car here. If you're new around here, you don't know what the challenge is about. We're here with a 25% race, so a short and sweet race. We're trying to do our best to get from last to, well, wherever we get to, that's the question mark. And so 25% race, we can't dawdle on the overtakes, and we have to really get them done as soon as possible. Russia should be pretty doable. You know, obviously long front, not, it's not a straight, it's got a kink in it, and then even the back straight, it's not even straight, it's uh, got a curve to it, so uh, back curves and front curves, but uh, long, long straight-ish lines, uh, nonetheless, that uh, should be able to, you know, use DRS and the power of the Mercedes car to get past, uh, of course, but uh, Sector 2 might be a little bit uh, tricky with the tight and twisting circuit. Hopefully, though, this will be more entertaining than the actual Russian Grand Prix. I say hopefully, actually, the hope is real life's pretty entertaining, but uh, we all know how that's probably going to go, but uh, this video being uploaded then after qualifying on Saturday, but before the race on Sunday, so do let me know your predictions for tomorrow's race and let me know, uh, come back to this video after the Real Life Grand Prix, let me know how I did because sometimes we do end up jinxing certain things and predicting things maybe correctly or uh, not correctly in terms of the race winner, the podium or you know, the fast lap or whatnot or, or where Hamilton will come uh, per se. So do let me know how we do on that maybe after the Real Life Grand Prix. But uh, let me know also your thoughts on qualifying and how that went. I'm actually recording this before qualifying's even happened. So really quite a time jump here in terms of the video going out and when it was recorded, etc, etc. But anyway, we're here. One stop. And very strangely, it seems like the strategy, I think, was a bit glitched because it said the, the soft tire was going to go for longer. Uh, for, for most of most of the race, really, which I don't know is really correct, because usually the game's meant to scale the tire wear down to 25% race, so I don't know what was going on there, but we're going to be on that tire then for the longest, the red wall tire, but here we go then, to five red lights to this rushing Grand Prix for the last of Westmark Challenge here with Hamilton, four lights are out, and we're underway, it's obviously going to be a bit of a slower start compared to the AI, as they're mega on the start on F1 2019, but up into hot lap mode, overtake mode even, and uh, Rich Mix engaged and trying to make some moves early on into uh, turn two, I nearly said turn one, but obviously turn one's that king, but here we go, massive dive down the inside of uh, two, three cars there, up into P16, just about couldn't get the racing point, and get, actually get held up a little bit on the curb there, on the exit, and snagged on the rear, and so the, the, the Williams car, Kubica actually gets me surprisingly, as we go through turns three, we get him though, down the inside, and try to make a move on Sergio Perez, just about jostling for position there, soaring away at the steering wheel, we just about get up into P15 then, and then ahead of us, P14 onwards, a bit of a massive train there, led by a McLaren, I think that is, and a lot of side by side moments actually there, Magnussen side by side with Norris, we try to nip down the inside of Grosjean, their opportunistic move, and he nearly pinches us into the wall there, a la kind of what he did at Singapore to George Russell, but here we go now down the inside of the next left hander, we just about make it out of it, we've got a lot of faith in Grosjean not turning in there, and we get the job done into P14, can we get 13th place now on the back, uh, well straight, so it's not really a straight like I said, but we uh, have no DRS of course, uh, and gets activated on lap number 3, but a bit of a screen freeze for good measure there, but as we go down, we get a toe off Ricardo. can we make a move to the inside of this trailing. We have a little look there, but thought better of it as soon as we started tapping the brakes there. Just didn't have the momentum there, so instead stay behind in P13. So, uh, pretty decent progress, I'd say. I would say in the Mercedes, I was kind of hoping to get to at least P11 on lap number one, but we get, got held up, obviously, at the start there by the Williams car and indeed the racing point, but we're now hounding Ricardo there. He goes very defensive uh, to the inside for the second last corner. We have a look on the outside. Lock up on the front right tyre, though. Doesn't help us out. Bottas at the moment leading the way with a fast lap of the Grand Prix. Through onto lap number two and not the exit we're hoping for there but we should have the straight line speed you would say against the Renault but he's looking pretty handy actually in terms of the setup I've got on the car it's a default setup just to try and make it a bit more fair to the AI here so I don't know maybe a bit of a draggy setup the default one is and we have a little look on the out on the inside it's a very very late lunge there and it was never going to really be pulled off and unfortunately I have to wait all the way until the back straight to make this overtake work it is so so far-fetched to make this move on the Renault car really did not uh, you know, get the job done when it needed to there. This was the exact opposite of what I said we have to do at the very start of this video is uh, not dawdle. That's exactly what we did. And so we're up into P12 finally on lap number three. And we can make a move now on Lando Norris, who's uh, trying to also make a move on Hulkenberg with DRS open for himself. Brit v Brit here into turn two. Little bit of a freeze again around the outside. We go of Lando Norris to the inside there. Squeeze him out. Bit of oversteer on the exit for good measure. But we're up into P11 then. And we'll now chase after Nico Hulkenberg there. So the points are ahead of us now. So that's definitely a a lot, lot longer than I thought it would take. You know, lap number three, I thought we should have been around P8 already 
in terms of if we're aiming for the podium, that's where I thought we should have been. But to be fair, if you look at the mini map there, the Ferraris aren't too far ahead, actually. They're still in the same straight, so there's still time yet. And if they battle enough, you never know. Obviously, the Belgian Grand Prix, we had a very crazy last rest mark challenge there with Albon, where we actually won the Grand Prix uh, because of some, you know, kerfuffling and some fighting between AI. So we'll see, we'll see. We go down the inside, though, of Hulkamog now very easily there on three uh, in Sector 3, and we're up into P10. And now we've got this mega train, and I'm hoping we can try and dispatch these guys pretty rapidly, I would say. Lance Stroll up ahead of us, then Kevin Magnussen, and then you've got the likes of the McLaren car, the other McLaren car, I should say, of Sergio Perez, I think, who's just about holding on then. Uh, he's uh, actually holding on to the back of the uh, Alfa Romeo car of Raikkonen, I think that is. We already got Gio earlier on in the Grand Prix, but Stroll defensive. He opens up the gap on the outside, and we're going to take that. It's a lovely little swoop around the outside there, and that's a pretty unorthodox place to make it actually pass there on the outside. It's kind of off camber in a way, or kind of always uh, gets a bit of understeer there on that corner, so kind of weird to make a move there, but alas, we made it work, and now as we go into sector three, lap number four, we're switch backing on uh, Kevin Magnussen there, got the grip to the inside there, he leaves the door open, and we're going to slam the door shut on him as we get up into P8, and now it's Carlos Sainz then up next, I said Sergio Perez, my bad, that's a bit of a, a brain fart from uh, career mode, of course, if you watch my F1 2019 career mode, Sergio Perez is in the McLaren these days, so uh, that was a little bit of a, uh, uh, just a mis uh, mis misremembering uh, on my part, but now we move on to lap number five, chasing after Carlos Sainz, indeed, in the McLaren, he's got DRS open. I've got DRS. So we're both getting a double toe off Raikkonen and Sainz is actually looking at a move at Raikkonen. So this is really awkward for me as we go down the inside. Oh, very, very awkward as Sainz moves under braking. Raikkonen does as well and he cuts across us there and instead of overtaking the McLaren, I'm actually now hounded by Magnussen as I was massively put off there by the McLaren moving in the brake zone and cutting across me. So we have to defend against Magnussen trying to alter at the same time uh, try anything on Raikkonen. Doesn't work out as we maintain P8. So that was a real close call there with Sainz. That could have been front wing off to, uh, for sure. But now you can see Raikkonen is trying to re-overtake Sainz. Uh, Alfa Romeo decent in a straight line on the F1 2019 game. So we've got some work to do now. I've got to try and size up Raikkonen. Can we maybe make a move into the chicane? I don't know. He leaves some room on the inside there. He goes to the inside. Very defensive actually and actually compromises his own line and we get the job done up into P7 there. So I don't know what Kimi was doing. He really compromised himself there. And so we're up one position. But oh! He comes back at us! Kimi Raikkonen! With the dive down the inside, absolutely insane stuff there. That was the, the most aggressive I've seen an AI car ever fight back there on this game. That was absolutely raucous there. This one is being uploaded, this being, uh, this being recorded after the latest patch on F1 2019. So I'm not too sure if they did any tweaking to the AI aggression in the patch at all. They didn't say they did, but very aggressive stuff there from Raikkonen. And we've just about managed to hold it through in turns two. No, we don't, because he gets the traction on us. This Alfa Romeo is really causing me issues there. Remember, I was in the Alfa Romeo in Korea career mode in seasons one and two. I was fighting Hamilton for the championship. It's almost like I'm driving that car in career mode right now. Absolutely crazy performance from the Alfa Romeo car. We just about finally get that done and get away from Raikkonen in P7 on lap number seven. And now we can chase after and overtake Carlos Sainz. But that was a bit of a madness there. Uh, way more fighting with the Alfa Romeo than I ever thought was going to be possible and uh, was to be expected, really. But finally now, we're up into P6. We're in that territory now of the top three. You know, the two by two, two Mercs, two Red Bulls, two Ferraris. And so here we are now chasing after our main rivals, Pierre Gasly then in the Red Bull, of course. Uh, you know, Gasly moved to Toro Rosso, Albon the other way, but in the game right now, it's not updated. And we only did that for a one-off mod video uh, with Albon's challenge in the Belgian Grand Prix. But we're chasing after Gasly nonetheless. We're the second Red Bull, if you will, to Max Verstappen's first Red Bull and we're going to make a move now with DRS open on lap number 8 and so we're up into P5 so this is why actually you look at the minimap that's where Verstappen is you can actually see him just ahead of us and the two Ferraris are not too far ahead so I don't think we can get first place I think Bottas has got that locked in but I think we could still have a good chance at maybe, just maybe, snagging the Ferraris. As I say that, though, I make a mistake and slow myself down there as I lock up on the front left tyre. I think it's going to be time to come in for the pit stop as the tyres are going off a little bit. We've obviously got the majority of this race on the soft tyres, which is kind of weird to see, really. Like I said, I feel like there should be scaling for the 25% race. I don't know why this kind of glitched out and there was no scaling for the soft tyre for some reason. But we're going to come in now for that pit stop onto medium tyres. But, yeah, I mean, apart from that mistake, I think, you know, we continue to actually have some decent lap times and some decent pace. I think we could catch up with the Ferraris if they fight enough. 
I think it's possible, perhaps. First and foremost, we have to try and overtake Verstappen, though, and get him firstly. So we're going to move on, then, after that pit stop on lap number 10, following that out lap, then coming at Verstappen at a rate of knots into turn two. DRS open around the outside there, and it's a real bold move. We lock up at the front right, just about slow down the car, and somehow still maintain the track position on Verstappen. I thought he would have, for sure, shot it around the outside like Raikkonen did there, but somehow we slowed it down and actually made that work, and so that was actually a very nice move in the end. Very aggressive, indeed, on Verstappen. And now we move to lap number 12. Well, the second last half of the Grand Prix and looky looky what we got here the two Ferraris were fighting into turn two and through turn three and so they slowed themselves down so much that on the second last lap here we go a move on Leclerc for P3 the podium positions are here and we're into P3 of the Russian GP we've got one more position to go and we can make this a 1-2 for Mercedes which uh, I don't know to be fair are looking after the uh, Friday practice and uh, how uh, Mercedes are shaping out might not be the case uh, on Sunday or even qualifying here obviously I'm recording this on Friday so you have to bear with uh, my knowledge of how the weekend's going so far, but obviously that's where you guys are in vantage. But we're chasing after the Ferraris, and we're looking pretty good to make the one-two in this in this instance of the last West Mark Challenge here at Russia. As we move on to the last lap of the Grand Prix, this is going to be epic. Literally, last lap overtake to get the last position here for second place. It's not quite the first place we we're hoping for, maybe to try and aim for. We always try and aim for first if we can in the top cars for this challenge. But second place, good enough, especially after how much we got held up in the first part of the challenge. I think second place is a pretty damn awesome result here that we got and so cool to do it like that right on the last lap right at the death and so we're going to come through for second place so Valtteri Bottas is going to win this Russian Grand Prix Hamilton in second place Sebastian Vettel in third but uh, as it stands right now as I record this on Friday it's looking like you know well Toto Wolff is saying Mercedes are the third best team I don't know obviously Mercedes always do this and say they're slow when they're actually pretty okay low, low key quite far so we'll see how it goes you guys will know obviously by now what the qualifying was like but I'm hoping it will be a, a good fight between Ferrari and Mercedes and even Red Bull, but Red Bull obviously have engine penalties, but hopefully Ferrari are there to really match uh, Mercedes after three wins on the bounce. Obviously, Ferrari would be quite epic if they could try and keep the momentum for the rest of the season, especially for tomorrow's race. If they can try and do something, that would be grand. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you are new around here to subscribe for weekly fallen content, and like I said, let me know in the comments below after the Real Life Grand Prix how I did. Did we jinx anything? Did we match anything? Let me know after the Real Life Grand Prix, but hopefully you enjoy the race tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. I've been Arava. Goodbye.